I'm Bella and I'm a Jamaican living in Argentina and I would like to share the differences between the Argentine and the Jamaican culture. I'll be sharing 10 points so let's go right ahead. Now Argentines they are very they have a very close-knit um, family structure so you'll find that teenagers even adults that are older will just want to be with their families all the time they're like oh my gosh i can't leave the country because i leave if i leave the country i'm gonna miss my family i'm gonna miss my parents and they're just always together they'll get together on sundays or whenever possible just to be together to have dinner together and just to have a good time and i really like that and you also see a lot of fathers alone with their children which is not something that's very common in our, in jamaica maybe it's changing now because i've been away for like nine years but i find that here the parents or the fathers the men are a lot more involved and a lot more independent as it relates to caring for their children now in jamaica we're big people <laughs> We tend to be a lot more independent. We are not so much, you know, dependent on our parents, you know, close to them. We always want to be around them, you know, or go to aunts and uncles' houses all the time to eat dinner and stuff. I don't feel like we have that strong bond as as a family structure. But in Argentina, it's super strong to the point where even be, be those who are extremely old. Or not extremely old but even like 50 year old would find it difficult to like move away from their families because it's like so strong the bond is strong the love is real <laughs> the next point is that is relating to safety now some persons will look at me like oh you're crazy like argentina it's not that safe well maybe it's not that safe but it's safer for me <laughs> because i lived in a very um dangerous community in jamaica so compared to what i experienced there to what i'm experiencing now i'd say that argentina is a lot safer even though i live in one of the most dangerous communities or cities in argentina it's still safer than the my experience in jamaica so yeah argentina i would say generally it's safe the most that you'll probably experience is probably robbery but and most likely they won't hurt you in very few cases they'll hurt the victim if you're trying to like you know fight back they'll probably hurt you but generally that's not a big issue and obviously we also know that there are gang wars and stuff like that but those are mostly in you know some of the communities that are like way out of the city and not in every province you'll find that for the most part it's a safe place of course you have to be careful everywhere but now this is a big one affection <laughs> argentines are very affectionate they're always touching kissing each other hugging it's like they're very into showing their emotions when you greet an argentine or when an argentine greets you for the first time they'll greet you with a kiss so you put your cheeks together and you make a kissing sound like they do that all the time it doesn't they don't have to know you they'll still greet you like that and I find that men in Argentina also greet each other with the same kiss and with a big hug sometimes, like they're very affectionate. But in Jamaica, men hardly touch. I mean, women will greet probably with a hug, but they won't kiss or do any of those things that Argentines do. And the men mm, ain't gonna touch each other. They'll probably do like this greeting or they'll you know put their fists together like that um and i'm not sure if they even hug probably they'll like put their hands together and like and like chuck each other like that but not like a big old hug like the argentines will do i think i kind of like the way that it's done in argentina because you know it's good to show your emotions you know to be affectionate to it to each other without having any ulterior motives you're just you know showing the person that you care for them and you love them now when children finish high school or university they have what is called a bahada where they pretty much dress up in um as different characters they wear costumes they get together block off the, the street in front of the faculty and they pretty much have like a party they they um put foam out there music is playing they dance and of course they drink because argentines love to drink a lot and they just have a blast for the entire day. 
So that's their bahala. Now in Jamaica, when you finish high school, your friends will probably write on your shirt, write something in your book, and then after that, everybody's like, bye, see you, or if I don't see you, have a good life. <laughs> and university, when you're finished, is like, you're just finished, that's it. Probably people will go out with their friends, but it's no big deal. In Argentina, as I tell you, everything is about celebration and getting together and having fun. So that's why they go all out for their celebrations. Now let's talk about graffiti. Um, Argentina is big on graffiti. Some of them look very pretty, some of them not so pretty. And I never really saw any graffiti in Jamaica. I, as I said, I've been away for nine years. But based on what I can remember, it's not a thing in Jamaica. Um, probably a few on zinc or some places in the center, but it's not like you'll have it painted all over businesses or you have like, you know, artwork and entire artwork being painted somewhere as it is done here in Argentina. More so in, in Rosario. I can talk about Rosario. <laughs> so here you'll just see some beautiful art pieces on the walls. Sometimes people just open their businesses recently painted and they just go with a spray and just do some crazy things on it. Those I'm not definitely not in agreement with. But the ones that are, you know, nicely done and they're not on anyone's building or anything like that. They're just, you know, out in random spaces. I think those look kind of cute. I don't know. What do you think? I've never seen a place that likes to protest like Argentina. Obviously, maybe in other parts of the world they protest more. But coming from Jamaica, where the only time you see a little protest is when a nurse is protesting, a teacher is protesting, or a um, taxi driver. Oh! So let's talk about protests. I've never seen somewhere that likes to protest like in Argentina. Well, at least in Rosario. And of course, I'm not sure how it is in other parts of the world. But in Jamaica, protesting is not a big thing. The only persons that you really see protesting are nurses, teachers, you know, sometimes taxi drivers, and um, when, you know, police probably kills someone in a community. But most times, they are just the small protests in a specific area with some probably 20 or 30 people holding up um, a placard. But that's it. When Argentina, it's a whole thing. They have banners, they have drums. And they'll walk through the entire city. The streets have to be blocked off and everything. And the police officers, you'll actually have the police officers that block off the street and redirect traffic to accommodate them. It's that important. And there was a point where we hear protests like probably almost every day or almost every week. Like there was just always noise everywhere protesting. And sometimes they would just go together and go to this main area in the city. And I always wondered, how is it that they got everyone to come together <laughs> to do it? But they, they have their way of organizing these protests to demand justice. And apart from that, they have like paro, which is like they just completely stop. So the buses sometimes will do go on paro. So there's absolutely no bus running the entire city. Or the teachers also go on paro and probably close school sometimes even for a month because they're demanding, they're serious that they want to be seen and they will be heard as well. So, um, I don't know. Some In some cases, they're effective. In some cases, not so much. I can do it without, you know, any violence or anything like that. I'm not sure, but Argentines, they're serious. Is that when they're ready to, when they, when they say enough is enough, they mean that enough is enough. And you must see and hear them. I don't know if that would really work in Jamaica because, you know, cultural differences. But I just wish Jamaicans would stand up more for their rights and not just take every and anything from the government and just talk about it and then that's it. Let's talk about the loud music. If you're a Jamaican, then you know what I'm talking about. The taxis have the loud, mu loud music. The stores have the loud music. On the road, they have the loud music. In your house, they have the loud music. Everywhere you go, it's just loud music all the time. I remember like there were days that I just didn't want any loud music. I wanted peace and quiet. But my neighbor just decided that he's going to play music from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. And that was really mean because it's not like you can say, go over to them and say, you know, can you turn on the music or whatever? Because it would be a big argument and you don't want that. So you just endure it. And you can't even call the police because that's going to be something else. So I just like the fact that here in Argentina, like people are generally respective of other people's space. You're in your apartment and you almost don't hear any noise. And if you make any excessive noise too much, 
your neighbors are gonna call you out and if you play loud music continu continually and past a certain point people are gonna call the police they're gonna serve you an order and stuff like that so they're very serious about that being considerate of the other person and also in the stores even though they're playing music it's so low you can hardly hear or oh, and i think i've only heard probably two or three times cars actually playing loud music even in the gym the music is low everywhere is just you know low probably like you know in their clubs and whatever they'll put it up but that's where you should do it because that's what people want but generally when you're on the street you just don't want that loudness all around you so i can appreciate that <laughs> let's talk about this thing about being a celiac no it pretty much means that you're not allergic to products that have that contain gluten now in jamaica i've never heard anyone complaining that they have it i'm not sure if it's because people are not you know diagnosed or if it's something that's just not common because it's not a part it's not you know probably related to genetics or culture the foods that we eat but i've never heard anyone say that oh i can't consume this because it has gluten or i'm a celiac but in argentina it's so popular it's so common you'll even have restaurants having specific meals for celiacs or you will have um products in the supermarket saying that oh it's gluten free or for celiacs and you'll be talking to someone like oh no i can't eat that because i'm a celiac you know stuff like that oh this is i made a cake it's cel it's it's for celiacs or <laughs> celiacos it's gluten free and yeah it's really here that i got you know aware i was aware of it but yeah it's 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 interesting how something so you know really so simple or related to health can make such a big difference from one country to another now let's talk about those credit cards in argentina credit card is the real having a credit card is the real deal <laughs> it kind of it reminds me somewhat of the states you know they use a lot of credits and credit cards so um credit cards people use credit cards to buy everything in super, from the food and supermarket to if they want to buy like a shirt at the store if to even if they want to buy um a furniture some furniture item or stuff like that and another aspect of it is that they use something that's um they use it in installments so they go to the supermarket and they use a credit card and they pay it in three installments or six or stuff like that so um it's it's really a big thing for them but in jamaica it's more of a cash society so even though you do have people that have credit cards and people use it you know all the time and we do take out things on installments more so your furniture and appliances but your food you will generally like buy that with cash and if you're gonna buy clothes too you generally buy that with cash you know and you don't buy it in installments you don't buy your food and your cash in installment if you don't have the money you don't buy the thing but in Argentina, it's completely different. You can have it once you have the card. And then you have to think about how you're going to pay it. <laughs> now, the last thing we're going to talk about, how we tell the time. In Jamaica, you know, we use the normal 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, whatever. In Argentina, they use army time. So they use like um, at 14 hours, at 16 hours. And <laughs> trust me, when I came here, it took some time to get used to because I had to like be calculating. Okay, they say it's at 16 hours. I have to like calculate. Okay, it's 16 minus 12. That's four. That means it. Okay, it's at four. <laughs> so that was that kind of confused me. But then too, it kind of worked out because if you if someone says it's the the event is at 16 hours, you know that it would never be at um, four o'clock in the morning. So that, you know, helps to prevent some amount of confusion. While, you know, as opposed to saying, oh, it's at 6 o'clock. And you're like, what? 6 o'clock in the morning? It's like, no, 6 o'clock in the evening. But if you have that time, then, you know, if you have the army time, then you would never be confused about if it's in the morning or in the evening. But it's just a simple little thing. But just, you know, for you to be aware, just in place, just in case you're planning to visit Argentina and just to be aware that that's how they do it. Or if you're planning to leave from Argentina and go to Jamaica, well, that's how they tell the time. It's at 5 o'clock, but I guess, well, 5 p.m. They'll say 5 p.m. or 5 a.m. But most times, well, I think sometimes they won't really, you know, say, oh, if it's a.m. or p.m. Because obviously if you just say, okay, the the ball is at 5. Obviously it wouldn't be at 5 o'clock in the morning, so sometimes they won't put like a.m. or p.m. Okay? All right, my beautiful people, this is where I end the video today. Just let me know where you're watching from. 
if it is that where why are you watching a video about argentina or comparing argentina to jamaica in english are you from either of those countries are you from another country and you're just curious about both countries just let me know and you can also subscribe because i'll try to share every video that i do in spanish i'll also try to do an english version so that you know my english speakers can understand and also enjoy this beautiful mixture of culture all right take care bye bye